Hi everyone, welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. Today we're going to be going over the intersecting secants theorem, first by defining the formula and then by looking at an example. So before we go any further, let's first look at what a secant is, just so, as a reminder. Uh, all a secant is, is a line that goes through the circle and hits the circle at two points. So notice this hits, uh, this line hits the circle here and it hits it here. So that's all a secant is. So, but when we have intersecting secants, there's actually a really nice theorem we can use to find any missing length. So, so the theorem states that AB times AC is equal to AD times AE. So notice that this is over here, AB is just this times AC, so times this whole thing here, and this is equal to AD right here times the whole segment here, AE. So that's our intersecting secant theorem. So let's see how we can apply this theorem to a question. So we have our question, given AD equals four, AE equals two, and BC equals 10, find the value of AB, find the value of this X right here, this missing value. So first, before we do anything, let's write out our intersecting the secant theorem, our formula. So we have AB times AC is equal to AB times AE. So, so again, we're just looking at this small part AB times this whole thing, AC, and then this is equal to AD, this little segment, times AE, the entire segment. So what we want to do here is now just fill in our formula. So AB is X times AC. So if you notice AC, we just need to add X plus 10. That's the value of this whole entire length. And now this is equal to AD, which is four, times AE, which is just going to be four plus two, which is six. So now we just want to um, multiply everything. So we can distribute this X. So this gives us X squared plus 10 X. Four times six is just going to be 24. And now notice we just have a quadratic equation that we need to solve. So we want to bring this 24 to the other side by subtracting. And when we do that, we get X squared plus 10 X minus 24 equals zero. And then we could factor. I always like to use the product sum method. So we have P, our product is equal to negative 24. Our sum is equal to 10. And this factors really nicely. We get positive 12 and minus two. Notice 12 times negative two is negative 24. And 12 minus two is 10. So, so now let's rewrite our equation. We have 10, well, sorry. We have X plus 12 times x minus 2 equals 0. And now we just solve for x plus 12 equals 0. This is going to give us x equals negative 12. And then this x minus 2 is going to give us x equals 2. So, so notice right away we have a negative value here. Right away we have to reject that because there's no way we could have a negative value, le value for length in this circle, right? In this, for this line segment, we cannot have a negative value. So that leaves us with one answer, uh, which gives us AB is equal to two. So X is equal to two, AB is equal to two. So that's our answer. So if you wanna try more practice problems just like this one, check out my blog, the link is below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like. And thanks for stopping by, happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!